Hi, my name is Tom, and I'm going to talk to you today about the Lego Ship in a Bottle. This is the original Lego Ship in a Bottle. It's set uh, 92177. It has a uh, little less than a thousand pieces, like 962 pieces. But I wanted to kind of show it off because I've had it on my desk for the last two years. And I thought I would just talk about it and kind of tell you because Lego just released a new Lego ship in a bottle that happens to be the Titanic. But this is the original one, and this is kind of a tall ship. Uh, you can see it there. It's got several masts. It's got some sails. The sails have little graphics on them. They're little, little sea monsters, which is kind of nice. Uh, here's the back of the bottle, as you can see. Okay, so you can kind of see through it. You can see into all directions. And what happens, I'm going to take this off of the stand here. And you can hold it, and sure enough, it's in there. The C pieces are actually loose. They're just little studs that are thrown in there, as you can see. The ship itself is connected to the bottle, so it, the ship does not slide around inside the bottle, but the pieces do slide around. So that's kind of nice. You can kind of jostle them up a little bit and, and, and move them from one side to the other if you want to make it a little more full on one side or the other there. Uh, this was actually a pretty fun build, but it's actually three builds in one. The, f the first thing you actually build is the ship itself, and the ship is remarkably detailed. I didn't think it was going to be that detailed, but it's got little gun ports on each side. Uh, you can see that, little gun ports. It has the actual sails. It has a, it has the real kind of shipping. It has kind of a little hull, a little keel underneath and the hull. It's a little more detailed than you'd think. The deck is different multicolors. So that was kind of actually kind of surprising. Uh, after you build that, then you start building the actual bottle and you kind of build a bottle like a, like a tube. You build this part for first, you put the ship in, connect it, and then you build the, the rest of the bottle, just like that. And the bottle even has like a little cork in it and a little wax seal as well, which is really kind of cool. It looks great. This is not a play set, this is a display set and it looks great. And then after you build that, you actually build the uh, stand for it. And the stand is just as cool. Mine's a little dusty right now because it's been sitting on my desk, uh, but it's got two little globes, they spin which is kind of nice. It does say Leviathan on the front, and it has a compass. Now the compass obviously doesn't work, but the compass, the compass does spin. So you can kind of point it in whatever direction you want. So it looks really, really nice. And again, when the whole thing is sitting on here, like that, you don't see the compass that much, but it's there. It does say Leviathan. It's a nice looking set. A couple quick criticisms of the set. Uh, as other people have said, it's fiddly. It's a little bit uh, fragile. Uh, mine's covered with dust right now. It's tricky to dust because you have a lot of little pieces. And honestly, this bottle is, while it's nice, the stand is, is perfectly fine. The bottle is nice, but the bottle is really only held together with a couple studs around the rings here. Uh, so if you press too hard, you can actually press pieces of it in. Uh, I have cats which often snap this off. This is only a couple studs in the middle and this little column often comes off. It's a uh, Again, it's a little fiddly, it's a little uh, fragile. And so now I have to kind of push this piece on to four pieces that are just barely held on here. So the whole thing is a little bit fragile and a little bit fiddly, and there we go, I got it. Okay, and then put it back down. And, but there you go. Uh, I have actually had this fallen and broken open and the pieces kind of fell out, and you could quickly kind of put it back together, but that's just what happens. If it does break open, you will get a bunch of little studs falling all over the floor as well. Again, just pick them up and go. So, but there you go. There is the Lego ship in a bottle. It really was a lot of fun. It's a great display piece. It's still a, a piece that people talk about. It's not one of those things where you say, oh my gosh, how'd they do that? Well, obviously it's just a Lego thing that they put together. So a real ship in a bottle is cool because how they build a ship in a bottle that's closed up. This is not as cool. You know how you did it. You just build the bottle around it. Very simple. Uh, but it still looks great. It's a wonderful little display piece. It's a unique piece. Uh, I would strongly recommend this set for anyone uh, who likes pirates or Legos or old ships or sailing, any of those things. It's a very unique set. It's an eye-catching set. It's something that makes you say, wow, when it sits on a shelf. Uh, a lot of people have commented like, oh, that's really cool. Whoa, where'd you get that? So this is the one piece in my office that people usually gravitate towards and start talking about or grabbing, hey, can I touch it? Can I look at it? I'm like, sure. Uh, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. But yeah, it's a great set. Uh, I got mine from Amazon and it looks wonderful. And uh, there you go.